Hello. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how to correctly install the MetaTrader 4 platform on a Windows 7 Windows Vista uh, operating system environment. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is load up the web browser and you're going to copy and paste the link uh, that was in your email uh, so that you can download the MetaTrader 4 installer. Um, while that's downloading, um, I, I want to um, talk about the architectural changes that have been implemented in Windows 7 and Windows Vista and show you how to uh, correct any problems that those changes create. Um, now that this is done installing, I'll, or should I say done downloading, I'll go ahead and say yes we want to install it. Close out the browser, we're done with that. Um, what you'll see is you'll select your language, hit next, hit next, say I agree, hit next. Now this folder we need to make a mental note of. This is the program files x86 slash jadefx folder. That's where uh, MetaTrader is going to be installed. In fact, I'll go ahead and pull it up, C drive, program files, jadefx. In fact, you'll see files being created as the jadefx uh, is installing. Um, there we go, that should be just about done installing. It is, it says we want to launch it. Notice the icon is on the desktop. Say yes, go ahead and launch it, finish. Um, now, one of the things that I want to go through is uh, and, and talk about with these architectural changes is what they call compatibility files. Now, notice if I go into config, there is no compatibility file button up here on this taskbar. Um, I'll do the same thing with the profiles folder. Notice the absence of the compatibility files folder. Um, that's normal and to be expected. I'll go ahead and minimize this for now and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create our um, JadeFX demo account. Now for the purpose of this demo please put in uh, your real name. Uh, I'm going to use dots here. Make sure I got enough there. Now, for the leverage, I'm going to use 200 to 1, and for the deposit size, you're going to want to use something comparable to what you're going to be trading with. Hit Next, hit Scan. What this will do is this will go ahead and um, contact the demo server just to make sure that it's out there. Um, it comes up, we hit Next. There we go. Now that we have our demo account, we're going to hit Finish. And don't worry about that account number and password because what happens is in your mailbox tab that you see here is a registration and if you double click that you have your registration email which gives you your login and password. Um, this is the information that you're going to send to us so that we can um, hook up the ATM software to your account. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out the MetaTrader 4 platform okay let's look into the JDFX folder again if we look into the config folder no compatibility files button when we look into the profiles folder no compatibility files button now let's give you an example a working example of what the compatibility files button does let's load the terminal notice down here we're on the default profile Okay, I'm going to say save profile as and I'm going to call it test. If I hit OK, you'll now see we're on the test profile. Now I'm going to close MetaTrader and I'm going to go to the profiles folder and notice there is no test folder. But what do we do have is our compatibility files button. When I click on the compatibility files button, there's our test folder. Uh, here's another example. If we go to the config folder, all of a sudden now there's our infamous compatibility files. Well, let's take a look at what's happening. Notice that in the JDFX, we're in the C drive, program files 86, JDFX config. When I click on compatibility files, all of a sudden we jump to the virtual store, program files 86, JDFX config. And that's where it stores all of these. Uh, files that are, or that you want to write but you don't have permissions to. Now this while it while it ends up fixing or, or helping to um, keep end users from breaking windows or breaking their applications it actually ends up breaking 
uh, MetaTrader, and here's why. Um, MetaTrader, every time it runs, in fact, let's go to the C drive, you'll see program files, JFX, you'll see this program called Live Update. Every time you run MetaTrader, this Live Update program runs, and what it does is it looks to see if there's a new update available for MetaTrader. And if there is an update available, then it prompts you, do you want to download and install the new update? Now, as long as you don't have this compatibility files button, everything works fine. But soon as you have this compatibility files button, all of a sudden the update capability fails. And what happens is, while the update fails, MetaTrader continues to run, and it works great using an older version until you shut down. And as soon as you restart MetaTrader, then it prompts you again. It says, oh, there's a new update. You're running an older version. Do you want to update? You say yes, and it fails again, and the cycle continues. Well, I've seen plenty of people running MetaTrader who just kind of deal with that annoyance. Every time they start it, especially since they're running Windows Vista or Windows 7, the screen goes black and it asks for permissions to run the live update. Here. Uh, I'm going to say yes. There are no updates, so it does nothing. But here's how to fix the problem. Uh, what we want to do is go to our profiles, go to our, com we want to find our compatibility files button. Once we find our compatibility files button, that takes us to our compatibility files. Here's our test profile that we created. I'm going to drop back one folder to the program files 86. I'm going to take this JFX folder that's in the virtual store and I'm going to drag it to the re recycle bin. Now that we've removed it from the recycle bin, I'm going to go back to Program Files 86, and here's our JFX folder. Now the way to fix it is simple. You're going to give yourself permission to write to this folder. To do that, we're going to say right click and go to Properties. We're going to click on the Security tab. We're going to click on Edit. We're going to click on Add. And I want to add, and, and what you're going to want to do is add your logon name. My logon name is owner. I'm the owner of this machine. So I'm going to type in owner and hit check names. And it notices that there are two names called owner, but this is me. So I'm going to click on that, and then it underlines it. It gives it the, the, the name of the machine, or the name of the, the domain that you're running under, and your username. You hit OK all of a sudden you show up in the group or usernames for this security tab. Now I'm going to give owner modify access. This is what gives you access to write to this folder. Notice the default was just to read, list folder contents, and read. No write access. By hitting modify we now have write access. So I hit OK, I hit OK. Now when I click on JFX and I launch terminal, and I click on this default terp profile and I say save the profile as and I give it a name called test hit OK and I close out MetaTrader when I click on the profiles folder here's my test folder well what happened MetaTrader tried to write the test folder but this time we had permissions to write and so it worked and there is no compatibility files button same thing if I go click on config. There is no compatibility files button. What this means is that the next time Live Update wants to run, it will actually update MetaTrader and problem solved. This also solves a problem for the ATM machine. The ATM machine wants to read and write files into this JFX folder, and if you, the logon user, do not have access to write to this folder, you'll have a problem. Uh, I hope this video uh, helps clear up some of the problems uh, associated with the Windows Vista, Windows 7 installation of MetaTrader, as well as give you a, 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 an in-depth uh, understanding of what's going on and why it's happening, and most importantly, how to fix it. Thank you.